Uh, section of the law that uh, Professor is talking about is in the Regulations and Elections Act. And it talks about the conduct of the meetings of the commission. And it is referring to when the commission is conducting its business, that it will seek consensus in its decisions. And if consensus is impossible, then it will go to a vote. This does not include the election because the election is not normal commission business. The election is the article one of the constitution, the power belonging to the people and the supremacy of the people in selecting their representatives. When Kenyans speak, IEBC is the microphone that amplifies the voice of the Kenyan people. The microphone has no sound of its own. It depends on the sound of the person holding it to take out anything and broadcast it. And that's what the IBC does. And so even in this instance, when I listen to Prof and he says that those four, if they, they do not agree, then they take a, a vote and the majority decision wins, is exactly where I was going to go with the question that you asked in your follow-up. Therefore, if the four do not agree with the outcome, the numbers at the bottom of the page, and they say, you know what, we see these numbers, but we don't like them, then all of Kenyans will be held hostage because four commissioners are not happy. How is that a thing? I'm telling you, let me, let me give you a small like juxtaposition. When uh, Honorable Uhuru and Ruto won power first time in 2013, Dr. Mutunga is one of those who was vehemently opposed to them running because they were inductees at the ICC. But when the rubber met the road and they were elected, he had to stand there as chief justice and administer the oath of office to both of them, even though his personal opinion was that they were not qualified because they were inductees of the ICC. But because the Kenyan people spoke and selected them as their leaders, he put his personal opinions aside and did what the law required him to do. It's the same situation with, with these commissioners. Like I said, the only way I would stop and listen to what is being said by the commissioners is if they offered us an alternative to what we have. If what we have is what is on the portal, is what we have observed, is what Chebukati has arrived at, and they have nothing different to offer, then why would the Supreme Court interfere with that? Because the threshold, remember, when you file an election petition, this has been settled not just in the Supreme Court, but even in the lower courts as they've been handling election petitions. You must prove several things. That one, indeed, the irregularities. Second, you cannot talk about general irregularities. The second thing you must do is tell us where the irregularities were. So tell us it was in police station one, two, three, four, five. This is where we saw the irregularities. Three, you tell us how those irregularities and the subsequent outcome would have been different had the irregularities not been there. That's wrong. So you have, um, just let me finish my point, then you come back with your brand of the law. Once you have told us that I have looked in this, this, and that polling station, and if these had been retaliated in this way, I would have been the winner and not so and so. When you prove those, then you have to show how it is not just the fault of the, of the person that was declared the winner, but that the IBC, and that's why the IBC is a mandatory, you must sue the IBC whenever you're in an election petition, is because it is them who facilitate the error, or made the error, or overlooked so where somebody else made the error. Then to, show, to force them, therefore, to either correct the error or to do the, the thing afresh. So you can either order a recount, a retally, or you order a rerun, depending on the outcome of the situation. So even in this instance, it's not enough to just say there are four commissioners who have dissented. You have to show how that dissent affected the outcome of the election. And if the weight has affected the outcome of the, uh, the election, then the Kenyan people, their voice was not heard in this general melee. In this instance, I think they would struggle with that. Because from the get-go, one of the consequences of the last election petition is that the, one of the criticism was that the commission did not make the Form 34 is public to begin with. And what Bukati did from day one, what the commission did from day one, they provided a portal 
and they said everything will be put there. Before even the election, I'm sure your media house was, in, was in, invited, as I was as a member of the civil society, and we saw simulations, not once, but twice, of how these transmissions will, will take place, which portal to go to, and that's where most of us were drawing, even your own tally, you are drawing the results from that same portal. So in this particular instance, I mean, I'm, I'm left at a loss as to what the sum, the total sum of this game is. Because if it is not to interpret what the Kenyan people said on August 9th, I don't know what else is. Okay.